In this video, let's see how to simplify the given min term functions and max term functions to get the Boolean expressions. So here, in first two cases, min term expressions are given. We supposed to simplify this to get the Boolean expressions. And in this case, max term expression is given along with the don't care conditions. We supposed to simplify to get SOP Boolean expression and we have to implement it using basic gates. Let us consider the first case function f1. Now consider the first expression f1 of a, b, c, d is equal to summation m 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 10, 12. These are the mean terms given. We supposed to simplify this expression. So here there are four variables. So we need four variable k map. Let me draw a four variable k map. So this is the structure of four variable k map which consists of four rows and four columns. Let this be a b inputs and this be c and d inputs as we know the cell numbers are given in decimal values which indicates the min terms now for the given min terms we supposed to write we supposed to enter one in a particular cell that is one so this in this cell we supposed to write one three four write one and five is one seven is one ten is one and twelve is one so remaining all cells will be filled with zeros So now we'll try to simplify this. So here cell number 1357 are having 1. So I can do 1 quad with these 4 cells. So I can do 1 quad here. The product term with respect to this is. So this belongs to these 2 column. So here the common factor is D that is d and here with respect to row the common factor is 0 and here also 0 that is a bar so i can write it as a bar d so with this one and this one i can do one pair this is one pair the product term corresponding to this is here between these two row one is common which belongs to b and here with respect to first column we have c bar d bar b c bar d bar so here we have one more one there is no any adjacent cells here let this be zero and we can take it as independent the product term for this is with respect to row it is a b bar a b bar and with respect to column it is c d bar c d bar so therefore the simplified expression i can write it as f1 is equal to a bar d plus b c bar d bar plus a b bar c d bar so this is the simplified boolean expression so now consider the second problem where f1 is equal to a, b, c, d for the mean terms 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here also we supposed to use four variable k map as it consists of four variables. This is the four variable. Let this be a, b and let this be c and d. So for mean term 5 it is 1 for 8 it is 1 9 and we have 10 11 12 13 we have 14 and 15 for remaining it will be 0 now we will try to do the grouping so here these four ones and these four ones together form 8-bit cell, 8-bit group 
I can do 8 bit proof with this. So, value of this one will be so here it covers all columns. So, its value will be 1. So, now we consider only with respect to rows. So, it belongs to these two rows. So, here the common factor is 1, which belongs to A. That is A. And here we have 1. So, this 1 and this 1 together forms a bind pair. So, it belongs to these two row. The common factor is B here. And with respect to this column, we have C bar D. C bar D. So, therefore, I can write F1 is equal to we have A plus B C bar D. This is the simplified expression. Here the symbol pi m indicates the max term. As we seen in previous examples, if we use summation m, it indicates mean terms. It means that in those cells we supposed to enter 1. If it is given pi m in those cells we supposed to enter 0. We have another term here that is D. D for don't care. So, in these particular cells, we supposed to enter the value x. So, here x, so here x can be 0 or 1. So, this x can be commonly we can take to do the grouping with zeros or to do the grouping with 1s. Now, let me draw 4 variable k map. This is a 4 variable k map. Let us So now in these cells we supposed to enter 0 that is cell number 5 it is 0 7 13, we have 14 and we have 15. And in these cells, we supposed to enter x that is 1, 2, 3, 9. That is 1, 2, 3 and 9. Now in remaining cells, we supposed to enter 1. This is 1, 1. 1, 1, 1 and here it is 1 and here it is 1. So now we are supposed to do the grouping of 1s because we need to calculate SOP that is sum of products. So sum of products will be obtained by doing grouping of 1s. So here we can see that in cell 0, 4, 12, 8 all 1s are adjacent to each other. So I can do the grouping of this. Let this be A, B and this is C, D. So, value of this will be C bar, D bar. C bar, D bar. So, as I said, X can be used along with the 1 for the grouping. So, using these two cells and these two cells, I can do one quad. The value will be, here the common factor is 1. That is C. In between this row and this row, the common factor is B bar. So now there is one more one here. I can do the pair with this. So here between these two rows, the common factor is A bar, and here it is C D bar. C D bar. So therefore, 
the simplified expression is f is equal to that is c bar d bar plus we have b bar c plus a bar c d bar this is the simplified boolean expression now we'll try to implement it using basic gate we'll implement this using basic gates so here in first product term we have c bar d bar so we need to not gates let me take a not gate here the input is c this is d the output of this is c bar here it is d bar so we need one and gate the input is c bar and d bar so here the output is c bar dot d bar that is with respect to first product term now we'll concentrate on second product term here we need one not gate the input is b and the output here is b bar we need one and gate the input is b bar and another input is c this is c the output of this is b bar c now we'll concentrate on this a bar c d bar i need one not gate the input is a here it is a bar it should be given to three input and gate this is a bar i need one more input c and i need one more d bar for d bar take one not gate input is so its output is d bar it is connected to three input and gate now output of each and gate is connected to three input or gate this is the or gate so this is f so this is implemented using basic gates thank you for watching